some day and Valentine's Day is just around the corner so I thought that instead of giving you one look I would give you two one that's gonna be like an easy glam you know you want to look good you want to feel good but you don't want to go like super all out or maybe you're just not into super heavy makeup so I'm gonna do an easy look first and then I'm gonna go into a more dramatic look and uh, we're just gonna get started I am going to be using the new sultry palette from ABH and a couple other little goodies in my arsenal here. Um, I did do my foundation, concealer, and brows off camera just to save a little bit of time. Um, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow mixed with a little bit of the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. And for my concealer today, I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, I did powder my under eyes, but I did want to show you um, a new kind of powdering that I've been doing for my face to kind of lock it in and give me extra coverage. So I'm going to clip this up. So I got my hands on the J-Cat Aqua Assurance uh, Compact Foundation and this is just a powder foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. This stuff, it literally is amazing. Here it is right here. Now in the pan, it does look like it would be a really good match for me, but unfortunately, this does oxidize a lot, and it, it, it just is not a good look. So what I've been doing, I grab a little flat top kabuki like this. Um, this is just from e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. powder brush, has a flat top, and I dip it into the J-Cat, and then I will dip it either into my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 110, or I will dip it into my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear um, Powder in the shade Translucent. So either one of those, I'll just dip it into the Physicians Formula. So I just dip, 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 dip in each one, and I just press it in right to my cheek area. On my cheeks and my jawline, that's where I need the most coverage. I just pick up both of them and then just really stamp it in. I'm not going to swipe because I don't want to remove my foundation that I have. I do try to avoid my smile lines and I have not been powdering in the center of my forehead and I've been liking how that looks. It just makes my makeup look fresh. And once I am finished with the powders, then I will grab my Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Spray and just give a little bit of a squirt. So we are going to be doing something super duper easy for the eyes. Sorry, got distracted. I already have my eyes primed with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So now I'm just going to take a very fluffy blending brush and into the palette, I'm gonna go in with this shade, oops, sorry. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and that is in the shade Birch. I'm just going to load up my brush drop my brush and I'm going to take this shade and then just put it in my crease and then just really blend that out. So like I said, this look is just going to be super soft and light and pretty. It's not going to take a lot of effort. It's just going to be pretty. So now that I have that blended into my crease, I'm gonna take a smaller crease of brush and go in with the shade Bloom right here. It's this beautiful pinky coral color. And I'm going to blend this in as well, focusing a little bit more in the lower crease and onto my lid. And once I'm done blending that in, I'm gonna take the first uh, crease brush that I used, the really fluffy one, clean it off with my color switch, and just blend that all together. Clean it off some more. So we are almost done. What we are going to do next is grab the shade right here and I'm gonna grab that on my finger 
and I'm just going to lightly press that onto my lid and get it as close to the inner corner as I can on both sides. And now I'm just going to grab a uh, lid brush. This one is the JH41. Um, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that pearl shade just to get it right here on my inner corner and drag that out. If you wanted to, you could wet this brush and then go in with that shade. Um, and you can also use a synthetic flat brush like this. That'll work really great as well. And just packing it on like this just makes it look really soft. But if you do want a little bit more of a like foiled metallic finish, definitely wet this with some setting spray, uh, Fix Plus, water, anything like that. But I just want it to be really soft and light and pretty. Really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I am going to grab my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and bronze up my skin. I like using this one because it just looks so nice and natural on the skin. It's not a harsh bronzer at all. It just melts into your skin really beautifully. And I've been focusing my bronzer back on the backs of my cheeks more. Then I'm going to grab my blush brush and the Milani Rose Blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose. And I really load it up here on my brush because this brush will apply it so lightly but it's great because you're not going to over apply blush. And then I just focus this on the apples and sweeping back towards the back of my face. And now for my favorite part, the glow. So you can either do this one of two ways. You can go super natural with your glow just to add like a nice like lit sheen, you know, glow from within kind of a look. And for that, I would use the Wet n Wild color icon and this is in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. And using this, I mean, it just adds a pretty just soft glow. If you're just really not into an intense highlight, you can use this and it just it just looks so pretty and it just makes your skin look so fresh. And what I do, whatever highlight that I'm using, uh, where's my brush? I will take my little bitty tiny tiny detailed liner, or not liner, this little bitty tiny detailed brush and I'll pick up whatever highlight and I will pop that into my inner corner and on my brow bone. So you can go with a super beautiful light highlight like this, or you could grab something like this. This is also from Wet n Wild. This is their loose highlight and I'm so lit. A little goes a long way. So there you can either have a really nice, easy, natural one or a very glowy, soft glam look with this. Really quick, um, I'm going to finish up my eyes. I'm going to take a flat brush like this. I am going to go in with the shade Dystopian right here. And I'm going to put this very, very tightly onto that lower lash line. want to you can also add this to the top as well then with this teeny tiny blending brush I'm going to go in with the shade birch right here and that's this first color that we used on our crease and I'm just going to blend this out slightly Now I'm going to add some mascara. And if you are not a false lashes kind of person, you can definitely just load up on mascara and leave it just like this. 
While I'm waiting on my lashes to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get in with my lipstick. The lip liner that I'm gonna use is this from Jordana. It is Rockin' Rose Lip Liner. And I'm gonna be going in with two lipsticks today. You could do whatever you want. You could just throw on a gloss. You could throw on um, a matte liquid lip to make sure that it lasts all night. Um, but I am going to go in with two different traditional lipsticks right here. I have L'Oreal in the shade 800 Ferris Nude. And I also have this from Maybelline, which is 535 Purely Nude. I'll do a little bit of the L'Oreal first. And this is like almost an exact color of the lip liner. And then just to brighten it up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline. And this could definitely be your finished look right here. I jumped off of the camera and I put on a little bit of a false lash. These are super easy, like a great starter lash for someone who is not used to them at all. It's the Ardell Demi Wispies. I don't know if these are the Wispies or the Demi Wispies. Um, but they're a beautiful, really easy lash. They have a very thin, lightweight band. You hardly feel them whenever you're wearing them. Um, but I popped these on just to give it us a little bit more of like a glam step up. So the last thing that I'm gonna do once again is set my face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Illuminating Setting Spray. So this is the finished look, a very easy, little bit glam makeup look for Valentine's Day or whenever you want. So for everyone out there that likes a little bit more drama, a little bit more glam, we are going to get into that as well. I'm wondering if I could do it without having to redo my whole face because I love the way that my face looks right now and this is how I would do it um, you know if I was going out or actually like every day this is how I do my face um, so let me just try I got the eye makeup off as best as I could unfortunately I don't really have a lot of time to take everything off and then reapply it so I'm just gonna be working with this um, typically whenever I do a more intense eye, I would do my eyes first and then my face last just so I don't have to clean up any, you know, fallout or anything like that on my face. But we're going to try, try to avoid that the best that we can. So like I said, for this one, this is going to be your drama, your glitter, your big lashes, just everything. So I'm excited because this, this type of look is what fuels me. I love it. So, um, like I said, I am going to be working out of the Sultry palette again, and I am going to go ahead and take this same shade right here, which is Birch, and I'm going to put that back into my crease. So now that I have that blended, I am going to go in with the shade Bloom right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, I got a little bit too much bloom. If you do go in a little bit hard, you can go in with that first transition shade or even this shade right here, which is called Fresh. Um, and that will help kind of tone that down because I don't want it that kind of pinky. So now that I have those two colors blown out into my crease, and it is okay if you get it onto your lid, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush, and this is the Morphe M45, no, the M514. And I'm going to go in with the shade Dystopian right here. Really load that up on my brush, but I'm really going to tap that off. And I'm gonna focus this right here on my outer corner. And I'm going to deepen this up a lot. I'm just 
to really buff and blend this in. Also, you could take something with a flat edge like this. This is just an envelope. And really kind of go in like this to create like that sharp shape. So that way, even if you have your foundation on, you can still get that really good shape. And then take a different brush, just another blending brush and just start to flick that inward. And you just kind of build it up to the intensity that you want. You, you know, might have to go back and forth a little bit, just blending and packing on shadows and blending again until you get it to, you know, the desired look that you want. So I'm just going to take some gel liner. This is the L'Oreal, right? Yeah, the L'Oreal Infallible Black is Black Gel Liner, and I'm just gonna pop this into my waterline. I'm going to grab my teeny tiny baby blending brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Dystopian, and I'm just going to blend this on my lower lash line and connect it with this outer part right here. And taking a little bit larger of a blending brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bloom, which is that pinky coral shade. And I'm gonna drag this right under it too. So we are almost done. If you wanted to do an all matte look, you could definitely do this right here. Just pop on some false lashes and that would be gorgeous. I love an all matte shadow look. Um, but I do want to step up, add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of glitter. So, I am going to take two of my Stila liquid eyeshadows. I have the shade Kitten right here and the shade Pig Ale. I still haven't figured out how to pronounce that. <laughs> but um, these are both the Shimmer and Glow liquid shadows from Stila. They're beautiful. I'm not going to say a whole lot about them because, I mean... They're just beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Pig Ale, which is this diff different, this deeper shade right here, and I'm gonna put this in the middle of my lid. I'm just going to grab a really small blending brush and you can pick up some of that dystopian shade, which is that deep brown. And I'm gonna just blend this edge right here. Then I'm going to take the shade Kitten and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner to meet up with that darker shade. And then it's just gonna take a little bit of finessing back and forth to get those two shades blended in together. So I'm going to pop on a little bit of a liner. So now just to make this just even more extra than I can, I'm going to add the Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just going to put this right here on top of the kitten. For my lashes for this look, I'm going to go in with my trusty Kiss Lashes in the shade Midnight. So this is the finished look right here. I love how it turned out. I just, I love it so much. It has the drama, it has the glitter, um, it's dark and vampy, and it's just gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love with the way this looks. Um, 
this lip combination even pairs with it really well. You could switch it out for, you know, a more nudie pink. If you wanted to add even more drama, you could go in with a darker, like, berry red, just like a deep dark shade, and that would be, that'd be so pretty. <laughs> um, but I love the way that this looks. I love the way that it turned out. I think adding the heavy metal liner um, onto that uh, over the kitten shade really helped to blend those together. And it just, I'm just, I like it. And I hope that you like it too. Let me show you some close ups. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and hopefully that it helped out a wide variety of you just to give you some ideas for Valentine's Day or just a everyday look or a date night look. And if you did like it, make sure that you press the like button, give me a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time that I post a video on every single Tuesday. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you have a great one and have an awesome Valentine's Day. Bye.